What's up, everybody? Antibody here, your humble commentator, bringing you another dual commentary. This time, it's a commentary from Down Under. That's two Australians we'll be watching tonight. Number one, Australian, Harry for the win. Number two, Australian, Osiris, both fantastic players. Um, I, could, I can definitely say from my demo watching of Harry that he's got a lot of skill. Um, and, of course, the rankings say so as well. So... Uh, but as for Osiris, I have actually played Osiris. So he is he's one of the very few Australians who come out uh, to North American servers and actually uh, play a little bit. And he's he's stunningly good even on such a high ping. So this will be an interesting match. Here we go. Um, the map, a new map by Justin, Silent Siege, one of my favorites. Because um, he's got a lot of room. you got a lot of room to move around. And uh, we'll be following Harry for the win in this match. This is his POV as he picks up the Mega Health at 0-2. Seems to be making his way over towards the Mega Armor here. But he's going to scope out to see if he can find Osiris first before picking it up. He has a pretty decent delay of about 15 seconds. So, got the Mega Health at 0-2. And the Mega Armor at 18. So, a good little stagger here. Establishing position near the Mega Health. Osiris dealing some damage in, but uh, backs off wisely in the presence of Harry's stack here as he uses those extra 15 seconds or so uh, to go and get himself a Nex over in that area. As he picks up the Mega Armor, still no score 50 seconds into the match. Osiris doing a good job of peeking in, getting some next damage here. As the next Mega Health should be coming up right now. Osiris doing some great damage, taking Harry all the way down to 28. Despite the great timing on Harry's part, and he's taken from... with a next shot right in his back. Osiris takes the lead, 1-0. Doesn't appear that Osiris had a had a bead on the timing of the Megas over there, uh, so Harry's able to to get himself back in good position, or maybe not. Harry goes down, another frag. Osiris extends his lead two to zero here. So, in talking with all the other duelers who uh, happen to have played this map and liked it uh, recently, a lot of people seem to agree that it's, it's very similar in gameplay to Stormkeep in that, you know, you have a little bit of room to breathe, a uh, good little warp zone right right back behind where Harry for the Wind just came through, um, which which gives the down player some sort of chance, which is, which is kind of great uh, compared with maps like Down or Final where it's all about the first minute or two. And if you go down in the first minute or two, you're just done, and it takes like two or three minutes to come back. With this one, you have some 25s, and, and you got a little uh, 25 armor uh, down below to help you stack yourself up uh, for a challenge. And lots of little shards over in the next area. As Harry continuing to... Ooh, good curved rocket shot by Osiris there. As, uh, as Harry continues to uh, troll around, tying it up there with about... Two minutes, 50 seconds into this game. Two to two. Pretty well played match, I'd say, so far. Harry picking up the next Mega Armor. And over in that area where Harry just fired a rocket is where you could find a lot of shards, and there's a, and there's a 25 armor down there. So if you're in the down position, um, trying to make a move, you definitely want to make a stop by that area to, uh, to kind of stack up. Great chaining combos. Harry probably could have pushed that fight, but uh, backs off in favor of this Mega Armor. Picked up at about 326 here. See Harry spamming the, uh, the spawn point. I like the approach that Harry just took. Um, <laughs> I tend, you know, in my, uh, in my infinite newbiness, that uh, I, I tend to come on the that mega health area down from below, whereas coming from up above where he just came through is is the commanding position. That's really what I should be doing. So take note. Don't do what I do. Do what Harry does. 
Harry's much better. Great prediction, Electro Combo by Harry. Fantastic. As he takes... Well, how did, how did Osiris kill himself? Either way, so Harry's up 4-1 to one now with four and a half minutes into this match. Ten-minute match. Shouldn't have to say it, but I'll say it anyway. So it's a ten-minute match. Both of these Mega Armor and Mega Health um, items spawning every 30 seconds, as per usual. Great spam work by Osiris. But, again, Harry doing a great job of protecting the area before the Meg is actually up. So he gets in there and uses his uh, much bigger stack to just muscle his way to the items, to the item control. Fortunately, fortunately, excuse me, like I said, Osiris is making pretty good use of the space of the map um, to try to get a jump on Harry, but, you know, Harry's pretty, pretty slick on the control right now. Five and a half minutes in. Harry with the lead. Five to one. Bouncing around, picking up yet another mega health. Osiris, nowhere to be seen. Kind of expecting Osiris to take a peek in and get some damage. But, as you could see, you know, Harry's making his way around the map. And there Osiris kills himself again, unfortunately. Harry in the lead. Five to nothing. Let's take a look. Let's just make sure that he has two suicides there. Yeah, definitely two suicides by Osiris in this match. Near miss of the uh, of the mid-air mortar here. Harry taking the lower approach seems to be delaying the mega health here. Probably timing it just along to uh, to coincide with the ten seconds, making it a little bit easier to remember. Meaning the next mega health is going to be up at six forty. I heard a, a shotgun slap by Osiris. I'm not sure exactly where he was at the time when he made it, but good shot by Osiris following it up with a Kirby rocket. Harry dropping down below to see if he can get some more damage in. Osiris able to get some damage there, but it was before Harry was able to pick up the Mega, so it really does not much work in terms of Getting him in a good position to to challenge. I'm really surprised to see Harry take a uh, kind of conservative approach here. He has a full stack where, well, I guess that's why. Maybe because Osiris is, is deadly without a rocket. Man. Osiris doing a good job stealing the mega health from Harry here. Let's see if he can make something of it. Still five to nothing. Seven and a half minutes in, Osiris doesn't have much time to work with. And in his effort to flee, leaves that 25 health up. Unbelievable. Harry goes down. Five to one. Osiris is on the board. Let's see if he can make anything else of it. <laughs> Harry wisely going back to where he died to pick up his, his necks, which Osiris is going to be sure to protect. Osiris wisely backing off, but yielding that. Oh, excellent move. Got to say, I'm pretty impressed that he came out with a frag there. Five to two. Harry's still in the lead, but Osiris establishing pretty good position. Takes the high ground. Ah, he's not able to get some electro combo down right when he needs it. Just a little bit off. As a result, Harry's able to pick up that mega health. Looking pretty good as he's heading over towards the Mega Armor area. I like the weapon choice by Harry here. Gets a frag with it. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't see a lot of people using the Hagger as, as much as they could. But it's pretty strong with the close-range weapon. Especially if you ask Samuel. He's, you know, pretty vehement about it being the most awesome close-range weapon. And being that Samuel designed the weapons, I, I gotta take his word for it. 
Look at the poise in those next shots. If this were me, I'd be all over the place with my crosshair, but no, not Harry. Harry's uh, pretty calm, cool, and collected as he drives those machine gun bullets in to pick up another frag, 7-3. Not looking very good for, for Osiris, but he's able to get a shotgun blast. Follows up with a frag, 7-4. to four. 30 seconds remaining. I'm not sure what else can happen. Yeah, 8-4. to four. Harry capitalizing on the damage he did before to extend his lead. And that's about all she wrote, folks. 20 seconds left in the match. 5 frag deficit. I'm just going to go right ahead and say it's not going to happen. Either way, well-played match by Osiris and Harry for the win. As Harry picks up another frag to make it a nice even 10 as match expires. Great game. I'm Antibody, your, your humble commentator. I hope you've enjoyed this match on Silent Siege between Harry for the win and Osiris. Come out and join us on QuakeNet's IRC at Poundsonotic. Or if you're looking to get in on the frag action, go to Poundsonotic.pickup. Thanks again, and happy fragging, everyone. Bye.